My name is Kate Cook um, and I make ceramics. Uh, I hand build uh, my ceramics, either rolling out the clay and press molding it into my own moulds or um, well, just manipulating the clay in different ways to create the um, shape or the object that I desire. Uh, glazes are a big part of my ceramics. Um, often I'll keep the shape simple and then use my glazes to experiment with and I layer up glazes so I'll have my glaze recipes all made um, from scratch and then I will see what happens if I layer two up. This um, was a piece that obviously was a bit more textured. I was playing around seeing what would happen and um, it worked. It doesn't always work. Opening the kiln is always a surprise. Um, this glaze is one of my simplest glazes with just two ingredients but I discovered if the kiln gets hotter than it should you get a lovely metallic finish. Okay so um, I have been making uh, simple basic plates um, but I've had an order or a request from a customer for a dinner service so I've made some new moulds and I'm going to experiment and see if I can get the um, even organic look rather than the complete organic look, if that makes sense. An organic plate that doesn't wobble is the aim. So we roll out the clay in every direction because clay has a memory and you've got to destroy that memory otherwise that's when things warp and do their own thing in the kiln. I'm not worried about it being too smooth because um, it'll dry out so these will dry in the mould and, and just fall out. Or I, with my um, larger pieces I take them out when they're leather hard so that I can then create a slightly different shape again and that I know that every single piece of my work is individual. So I'm not too worried about this being perfect at the moment because once I get the bowl out of the mould um, I'll use a damp sponge just to take off any rough edges and then my glazes will also fill in any other. So yeah, I'm not bothered about it being perfect. It won't be perfect at the end, that's the point, but I will smooth it off with a damp sponge when it's leather hard and make sure it's the shape we all want. So this is just the rough start of it. Right, every year I do open my house up for a Christmas event. I call it Christmas Shopping in Comfort. And it's not just me, my mother-in-law sells flea market goodies and I have lots of other craftspeople coming. Um, and this year I'm making Christmas cones which will hang on a tree for you to fill with sweets or chocolates or even potpourri. But they're nice simple little gifts that could be given to a teacher or all sorts. I've already got orders for 12 from one person and four from another. Um, so I need to, before the clay gets too hard, this is what you call leather hard. So this is fresh clay and then this is leather hard, um, which is why it's more crumbly. So it's perfect to make the holes for the ribbon. If it was too hard, which I discovered the other day, um, it's a lot harder and more fragile. So I was nervous that I was going to crack the whole piece, but this is actually working really well. So another part of my ceramics is I make incense burners for a local shop who also do the Christmas markets in Cardiff etc. So talking hundreds, sometimes a thousand burners they need from me each year. Um, these didn't quite fit in the kiln. This is what they look like before the kiln goes on. Um, quite nervous because my kiln has been playing up and has not reached temperature um, but it's obviously been taking so long to reach temperature that it's still work working, the glaze is still vitrifying so we are going to um, so we're going to see if my 110 burners um, have worked oh yeah I can see shiny that's good, can you see? I'll close the kiln back up 
and it can cool down. Um, so if you like what I do and you're interested in any of my work or just want to get in touch, um, I do have a website. Um, you can Google Kate Cook, it's Cook with an E, but the best way probably is my Facebook page or Instagram account. And it's just Google Kate Cook Ceramics and hopefully I will come up. <laughs>